Welcome to Das Geek. Of course, we're rocking the EFF beanie because that's just an amazing organization out there fighting for you and your digital rights and freedoms out there. And we're talking about Tor and the dark web. And today, after our first video where I talk about Tor, talk about the fact that it's not just this place for bad actors and bad people, but actually has a lot of legitimate companies and sites out there on the dark web and showed you the site that I have out there along with an index of links and things. So if you haven't checked out that video, go check that one out first. If you're not familiar with Tor in the dark web, in this video, we're going to go a little more advanced, but fun. And it's really not that difficult. We're going to use digital ocean because they're a sponsor of destination Linux network. And they're giving a hundred dollar credit to anybody who hasn't signed up before. So go to do.co slash DLN, get that hundred dollar credit. And you could follow along here, create this droplet it won't cost you anything. For the first 60 days, you have $100 to spend on stuff like this. Uh, we'll get into more of that later in the video. But we're going to drop a droplet. We're going to create a website that we're going to host on one of our droplets. We don't have to have any risk of port forwarding or computers in our home or anything else. We have all of this up there out in the cloud. We're going to create a simple static website. And so you can see how easy it is to create a .onion address. And my goal is that... All of you smart, brilliant people who want to fill their brains, the fans of this channel, also the ones who stumbled upon this channel. You know, the whole concept here is about constantly learning and educating yourself. I want us to fill the dark web with lots of legitimate, good informational sites and things out there. So hopefully you'll follow along and create a website and it could be about anything. It could be about Linux, it could be about your passion for watches, it could be anything you want. But having a website out there helping fill up that place with lots of good content Lots of informational content would be amazing. So please let me know in the comments below if you have a dot onion, as long as it's safe. This is a you know family friendly show and stuff, so don't put junk down there. Uh, but if you have some good content for your business or whatever, link it down in the comments below. I'd love to see it and check it out. Also, I have on dosgeekcommunity.com website a page for indexes and stuff. Okay, so enough talking. Let's get into it. Let's talk about how you set up a web server and we're gonna use DigitalOcean for that and then create ourselves our first dot onion website. Let's do it. All right, so this is where all the fun begins. You're gonna be in DigitalOcean. You're gonna go create up here at the top right hand corner. You're gonna create a droplet because we just want a little server. We don't need a big server, it's just a web server. So we're gonna create a $5 droplet, cost $5 per month. It wants us to choose our operating system. I chose Fedora. You can choose Ubuntu, FreeBSD, whatever you want, but the steps may be different. So go with Fedora if you're following along for the first time. I'm doing $5 a month. I'm choosing the data center as New York region, and I'm logging in through SSH keys. Now, if you don't know anything about SSH keys, you could choose the password route. Just make sure you use a very complex password and then go learn SSH because it's much, much safer. You can enable backups if you want. I'm not going to do that. We're just going to click Create Droplet and boom, it's creating this droplet. Now I'm going to do everything else through this three little dots and click access console. That's going to allow me to get a console into the server and do everything I need. Now I'm doing that because some people may not be familiar with SSHing into a server, but if you can, then just SSH and follow these same steps. So the first thing we're going to do is DNF update that updates Fedora to the latest and greatest version updates our packages. Next, we're going to add a new user. We don't want to do everything through the root user. So user add, simple one word, space, and then the username dosgeek. And now I'm going to do sudo user mod dash a capital G wheel dosgeek to give some sudo access to dosgeek here. And then I'm going to change the password for this new user or set the password for this new user here. And again, make a very advanced password. Use Bitwarden for that. If you have trouble remembering very advanced passwords, Bitwarden's password manager, I recommend. Also sponsor the Destination Linux network. Next, we're going to install Nano. Now, if you're a Vim user or whatever, use that. This is just a text editor. I think Nano is the easiest, so I suggest doing Nano. Then after we do Nano, we're going to sudo DNF install nginx and Tor. So nginx is our web server we're going to set up and Tor of course, is what we're here for. So now we're going to do sudo nano slash etsy slash tor slash tor rrc. We're going to edit this file. The only thing we have to do is go down to these two little areas here and remove the hashtags. That's it. Basically telling it where do you listen out for for this server. We want it to listen out for the port 80 at 127.0.0.1. So now you're going to hit control x and then it's going to ask you, do you want to save? You're going to click yes and hit enter and boom, 
you are almost there. That's how easy this is. So once we've done that and we've saved, now we need to start all of these services. So sudo systemctl start nginx, and then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, but we're gonna do start tour. Now the fun part begins. So we're gonna go back into root at this point, and we're going to get our .onion address. So hopefully you've got the Tor browser installed already, or you have Brave or something that has the Tor browser built in. So we're gonna cd slash var slash lib slash Tor. We're gonna list out the files there with ls. We're gonna go into the hidden services. Remember we removed the hash marks for that, and we're gonna ls in the hidden services. And now I'm just gonna cat that host name. That's gonna give me my .onion address for this server. And there it is. You can see it ends in .onion. And if we open up Tor and we put that into our web browser, look at this. You now have a working dark web website, working tor.onion website up here. Okay, so you probably wanna do something a little fancier. So if you go back to your console and type in cd space slash user usr slash share slash nginx slash html, then you ls, you're going to see an index.html file there. That's what we're editing right here. You can go in and change this all around if you know HTML or just go down to the H1 section, you know, and change the header to DOS Geek is awesome or whatever you want. You can see the H1 here is Fedora Web Server. That's what we saw in the big header uh, on the page when we first opened it. Now we're just going to customize it. Control X again to get out and save. And if we go back to our page, we're gonna see the change that we made on the DOSGeek's web server. Also, if you go to DOSGeekCommunity.com, you go to my GitHub page under the brain section, I have a whole template, my template that I use for my website there that you could dump into this directory, slash user, slash share, slash nginx, slash HTML, using something like FileZilla, and you'll be all set. Again, huge thanks to DigitalOcean, giving a $100 credit to anybody who hasn't signed up before, just go to do.co slash dln, you can go and set up this $5 droplet. You're gonna have 60 days to go play with this and have fun and set up different kinds of servers. We're also going to do a Tor node later on in this series as well. And also huge thanks to all the awesome people at Tor. Consider giving them a donation for all the work that they're doing, allowing us to browse and explore freely as they say. So if you can, consider giving a donation to the Tor project. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this inspires you to go out and create an awesome website out there on the dark web, a site that informs and makes people even smarter or just shares your passion with them. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains.